What does it take from a non-verbal perspective to be a great leader or great manager? Hey everyone, Mike Sweet here from mikesweet.co.uk, giving you the edge in life and business with NLP and psychology. Now today is about seven non-verbal skills that you absolutely need to be a great leader. And it's not just from my point of view, these are the non-verbal skills and assets and uh, principles that great leaders already have. So number one, from a non-verbal perspective, is being in plain sight. Now, leaders are a bit like snow leopards. You know, you might see their, their name or hear their name once a month, but being in plain sight is really vital. It lets your workforce uh, join in and believe that you're actually real. And that connection gives something for people to aspire to be. Now, we all want that icon. And if you are a leader and hold that position of leadership, then being in plain sight is vital. So that could be making sure you're available at, uh, at Christmas parties, that's coming up soon. Making sure you're available at certain events that you go to. Perhaps make sure you're available by allowing people into your office at certain times. Perhaps you're floating around the office. Perhaps you're, you're migrating around and, and seeing people and letting people know that you are a person to be seen. Vital from a non-verbal non perspective. Being in plain sight. Your behaviour. Now, <laughs> this sounds like it's something to do. When I hear behaviour, I think about being told off. But what we mean here from a non-verbal perspective is how you behave really does determine what people think of you. Are they willing to listen? Are they going to hear your message, your mission and your passion? Well, they will if you behave in the right way. You see, people like people who are likeable. <laughs> now, what tends to happen, you know, we all, you'll hear of the, there's been films about it called Horrible Bosses, when people take leadership roles or, or positions of authority within companies or within organisations. It almost seems as if they're tarnished with, actually, they're not very nice people. <laughs> it seems bizarre and obviously not totally true. But there's a piece here to remember that at the end of the day, regardless where a person is in their, in their work journey or in their organisational structure, people like people who are likeable. And your behaviour will directly determine how you're able to influence your culture, how you're able to keep people on the same path of you, as you and guide, help in guiding you also. If at first you're in plain sight and your behaviour is something that they can be admired. It gives people something to work to, and that's a phenomenal trait as a leader. It's all in the eyes. So assuming that you're in plain sight and assuming that you do make the rounds at work and you are visible and your behavior is right, the next thing is it's all in the eyes. How are you connecting with your employees and your staff? How are you letting them know that you are listening even if only briefly, because you're busy also. But if you can't make eye contact and you're all over, yeah, John, I understand what you mean. Sally, come back to me. And you're not giving someone the, the intensity, the, the, the level of connection that will really serve. It only takes a few moments. But when you really begin to connect as a leader through the eyes, through to whoever it is in your organization, they'll stay connected. And that's a fantastic nonverbal skill to become a great leader. Now, many great public eye leaders have a great voice. They're able to use their voice in such a way that seems so compelling. Now, it's partly due to the using metaphors and storytelling and really engaging an audience. But really think how you can use your tonality, your volume, your pitch, your pace to really connect with people on different levels at different times. It's that flexibility piece again. It's that piece of behavior and likability and being seen. Because when you're able to adjust to different people, different scenarios, different situations, then as a leader, you're really able to talk to all of the organization in a way that is just right for them. Now, the next one is a light touch. So assuming that you are integrating with all of your organization and whatever it is, a very light, subtle touch, as we've mentioned in the Power of Touch video, is very, very powerful. 
obviously in the right way, a touch in the wrong way, and you will be taken from your leadership perch quicker than you can say leadership. However, when you're really trying to connect and your intentions are good, and you're using the psychology behind the power of a simple touch on the upper arm, something that's meaningful, something that says to someone, we're in this together. This can be a handshake where your hand goes out in a neutral position, not palm up, which is submissive, and not palm down, which is seen as dominant. A slight change, a slight subtlety makes a world of difference. So think how you can use your nonverbal uh, power of touch to become a better leader. Now, assuming you're in a leadership position already because you've worked that way or you're heading that way, it's leaders tend to have pace and purpose. They don't get things done erratically, but they get things done efficiently. They go forth with their intentions and they have real, a real sense of purpose. So think what does purpose look like from a non-verbal perspective? What does certainty look like from a non-verbal perspective? Because when you're moving around your organisation with, with a certain level, of pe certain level of pace which says we're getting this done and an element of purpose which says we know we're on the right track, it fills people around you with confidence and confidence builds culture and culture builds businesses. <laughs> and last but not least, a smile. <laughs> This again is a real leveller. You know, we smile as babies, we smile as adults, we smile everywhere. But what a smile does is it connects with someone instantly to say, yep, I acknowledge you, I recognise you. And when we think about, from a leadership perspective, building that culture, building that team environment, building what it's all about, a simple smile is potentially all you need. So, leaders... I hope you've got some non-verbal tips that you can really begin to integrate and begin to use. Now, don't just say you're going to use them or dismiss it. Actually do it. Now, the best way to learn anything is via training courses and via experience. Now, if you're not ready to commit to any formal training, why don't you sign up to a, a weekly training newsletter get sent out with small elements that you can begin to practically apply in your personal and your business life. If that sounds like something of an interest to you, head over to mikesweet.co.uk forward slash sign up, pop your email in the box, and every single week you'll be sent a practical guide that you can really begin to apply in your personal and business life. Now, you can also find me on social at Mike C. Sweet on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So let's get connected. Now, please do like, please do comment, and please do share. Until next time, bye for now.